Christmas, a young man, I met an older man, a chirpy old guy, and he just, uh, uh, he, he loved God, and, and his name was Pharaoh. Lo and behold, here is the fellow that wrote a song that uh, came from right off the hot coals of early day Pentecost and uh, in the, around the year 1900. I think well to sing a verse of it. The mighty God is Jesus. The Prince of Peace is He. The living Word incarnate. The King eternally. The wonderful in wisdom by whom all things are made. The fullness of the Godhead in Jesus is displayed. And it's all in Him. It's all in Him. The fullness of the Godhead. It's all in Him. It's all in Him. It's all in Him. The mighty God is Jesus and it's all in Him. Our God for whom we waited will be the glad refrain of Israel recreated when Jesus comes again. Lo, He will come and save us, our King and Priest to be. For in Him dwells all fullness, and Lord of all is He. And it's all in Him, it's all in Him. The fullness of the Godhead, it's all in Him. It's all in Him. It's all in Him. The mighty God is Jesus, and it's all in Him. Woo! Glory! Oh, yeah, I guarantee you, my friend, that a person that starts talking to you about God the Father and God the Son and God the Holy Ghost, they're not going to get revved that much. They're going to get, but, but there's something about when you start talking about, hear, O Israel, the first and the greatest commandment. There is none like unto it. It makes a difference. It makes a difference. Praise God. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. 